Now I need help shipping it to China. Okay. Yeah, I have the address and stuff. I tried doing it online, but I couldn't figure it out. $230, man. That's fucked. I might as well take a trip to China myself. I didn't even catch that part. But when he said $230, I literally looked at him like, for real? Like $230. I'm... I might as well take a trip like honestly I'll bring it to her myself so that package that one right there I made a gift for my supplier just because she's helped me out so much it's the one like I could communicate with and create the products with deals with like all my stuff and if it wasn't for her then I wouldn't be able to create the business that I have like I feel like when people create products and stuff, they forget how important their supplier is. Like, they're the ones making your fucking product. If they're not happy, if you don't have a good relationship with them, then why would they want to improve your product and do better and work with you? Anyways, we have a really good relationship. I want to send this. Uh, I made like a little Canadian care package center, like some candies that are only here, a candle, um, honey dill sauce, maple syrup, $230. I don't know if I can do that. Maybe like if I make a few more sales, I'll just like send it and then write it off tax write off. I mean, it is cause it's for my business, but like I couldn't justify it. I like stood there for a little bit. There's people behind me. I'm like, yeah, I need to think about this and I just left. So I'll give it some time. But anyways, welcome to the video. We are, what is it? 31 weeks out if we're counting from the last video. I didn't do my regular check-in show you guys like the physique and stuff, but I did do my weigh in with uh, a jacket on it was like 176 pounds but I weighed myself in the morning too I was 166 so I feel like my body is finally like leveled out and has like um like a maintenance body weight where it's not like just like because I feel like before there's a lot of inflammation water retention my body was just like super sensitive but I feel like I finally leveled out at uh, 166 so now I can slowly climb from there uh, focus on my workouts progressive overload whatever we're gonna go smash a lift right now we just got to the gym besides that I'm gonna do a pose down after my workouts but yeah I was like packaging gifts this morning use Miranda's avocado paper I actually took a little clip of it so you guys can see it because I think that <laughs> this wrapping paper is dope it's all about the wrapping paper if you don't wrap your presents even though I used like some bags i always wrap whatever is inside because kind of miranda got me into that she's like i don't want to open a present unless it's wrapped and it kind of stuck in my head so now i always always wrap presents even if it's something small i'll like find something to put it in and then wrap it i don't know why i just thought find something to put it in and then wrap it doesn't really make sense you usually should wrap it before you put it in but I mean, if you want a raw dog and his shit to that, that works. But anyways, we're gonna go smash the lift. Let's go get aesthetic. It is the day before Christmas Eve. Like when you're when you're Portuguese, pretty much Christmas, like the the big festive part of Christmas is Christmas Eve. Like that's when we do all the food, the gifts and stuff. So it's kind of nice because Miranda's family, Japanese, Ukra Japanese and Scottish. Holy crap! I almost said Ukrainian. That's on like the actual day, which is gonna be Saturday. So tomorrow we're with my family and stuff, and just gonna enjoy the holidays. But we need to go get aesthetic as fuck. I also was really sick, like a few days ago, last week, and I'm pretty sure it's COVID because my roommate got COVID too. So. Uh, yeah, it's just like a COVID house. I feel like COVID's going all over the place, but honestly, you guys, it wasn't really that bad. It was just like another cold, lasted two days. I mean, I am vaccinated, so maybe that helped, but it wasn't that bad. It's just like any other time, you know, when you're in junior high and you get that sickness and you want it and you stay home and play video games and shit, like, you know, why, like, why are people complaining, man? You don't always need to go get tested. Like, it's just a cold, especially if you're vaccinated. Chill out, man. Stay home, play some video games, hang out, watch some movies. You'll have some cold chill, some body aches, and some cough, but take some medicine and just shut the fuck up.
there's a pole right in front of you and then there's one like further back with two like uh, looks like cans on it oh yeah i see it yeah those things blew up last night <laughs> yeah so power's out i'm gonna try to film uh so oh oh oh, oh <laughs> you look at that we're back, we're back in action let's go all right so never mind that clip uh i don't need to even say anything anymore we're just gonna keep on getting aesthetic It's time to do the pose down that we didn't do this morning. Like I said, 166 pounds, and I feel like I finally leveled out from like just the body sensitivity. So there's a few things I want to change with my front pose. I feel like, well, obviously I was doing this one on stage, but I'm gonna move over to the straight on front pose. But when I was doing it before, I would kind of do like the closed fist, which I kind of like. It's not bad. I might still roll with it, or I might do. Um, my thumb like right on my hip bone or like on top of it and then kind of almost like a lat spread like right here but it doesn't look as like men's physique i feel like it's not as chill so i'm probably going to end up doing like the hands on hips just chilling like this and then i'll obviously do my side pose Back pose. All right, we just got home and Miranda's raving and cleaning the whole house. We also just got this new plant stand. I actually really like it, it's dope. Cause we used to have all of them like across here before. But yeah, now we built this thing, which was a fucking bitch to build cause it was handmade like before. And like the holes just didn't line up. You didn't know which shelf went where. There's no instructions. It's worse than Ikea. But yeah, I'm making some chicken and some rice. There was no food when I got home. And I hate when that happens. Because normally I have like all my stuff prepped. But I didn't have anything and I totally forgot. So I got home and I was starving. But I wanted to show you guys this. We're making some chicken. And here we got all the chicken breast. It's kind of blown out. You can't really see. Hold up. Come on. See that? See it? See it? Can you see? Okay, just want to tell you guys, this spice for chicken, absolutely amazing. It's, uh, we get it from Lux Barbecue, you just get it from any like barbecue place. But if you're in Winnipeg, that's where you can go. It's this one, hot, dirty, wait, hot, dirty bird. And there's like a bunch of other kinds that are like this brand, and they're all amazing. I highly recommend using them for chicken breast, especially if you just want to change it up, spice it up, make it taste like something that you're going to actually want to eat, and not just dry ass chicken. So that is what we're making. Uh, the rice is already cooking. And then I'm gonna make some onions and mushrooms, chop it up, caramelize that. And kale is my vegetable. Like this is also my vegetable. It's more so like a topper to make everything kind of taste good. Cause I put it on the rice and chicken when it's all cut up. There you go. It was all fogged up, you couldn't see anything. This is the one I'm getting from Moshi, right here. So she can dig in it all the time and put <laughs> dirt absolutely everywhere. This place is so cool though. Okay, let's find a plant. We're gonna find a plant for Miranda and I for our Christmas present to each other. One that we both like. Look, they have green onion. Paper white, it looks like green onion. Dragon tail. Okay, I found my favorite plant, but Miranda won't get it with me because it's too expensive. It's two hundred and fifty dollars. Right here, this like tree-looking thing. And it's got just like the branches that come out of it. This is so cool. I love that. And there's these ones too. They're kind of similar. But I like how this one like kind of curves out. This one's also pretty sick too. I like this one. The one that has like the shredded leaves. Cause you know it's fucking shredded. This one too. Baby, 
Private bet, ayy, couple racks, ayy, couple Grammys on him. 